How's it going guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another Doken Battle video and today I'm going to be using a very interesting tech type team. Of course we have Elos and Masu and Goku Black, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we have Merge and Masu, Ter, Goku Black, the LR version of course, and Zamasu, and then we have Vegito. So we're going to be a very interesting team and just basically going to see how far I can get in this boss rush. Granted, I am most likely going to take him out, but one thing that I'm challenging myself for this particular video is how far I can get without using any items because this team does have a lot more damage potential in comparison to the team that I was using before. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this is going to perform. And I am not seeing as many LR friends as I was before. Super Attack 10 is good, but realistically I would like to see a Super Attack 21. Super Attack 13 is pretty good as well. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day as always. And if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. And I think I'm going to have to settle for that Super Attack 13 one, which isn't bad by any means, but realistically, I would prefer a Super Attack 21. And yeah, this one is an even max level. Okay, what about this one? I think this is the one that I saw earlier. No, never mind. Um, is that the same one? I think it is the same one. Where is that Super Attack 13 one? I think it's this one. Okay, so it looks like this is the one that I'm going to have to go with. So, of course, my Goku Black is at Super Attack 14, and then my friend one is at Super Attack 13. So, it's not too bad, and our starting rotation is not good by any means. And the rotations that I'm going to stick with is Super Saiyan... Actually, do I go with that? Hmm. I don't know. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, because I want the healing every single turn. I think I'll stick with Gogeta, to be honest, and then Super Saiyan 3 Goku will come up here and there. And who has the highest defensive stat here? So, this is a very poor rotation. Not what I wanted by any means, of course. But Vegito is giving that defensive boost. So, hopefully, it's enough to somewhat tank these hits, of course. The Legendary Rare is very good at tanking these hits. And, unfortunately, we don't have Gogeta. We don't have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And we don't have either LR in the first rotation. We kind of, um, which kind of sucks, of course. But we do have Merge and Master, who's going to put a bit of work in. And I can't believe I didn't actually think about using this team quite recently when someone brought it up. So hopefully this does go well. And we almost, uh, almost took him out there to be fair. So it's not too bad. And we didn't get super sacks either. But this is the turn um, that we want. And we are back at max health. But the problem is he isn't started pretty much. This man didn't get started. So he isn't going to get attacks that many times at all. Which means that his attack stat is going to be pretty damn low. But this is a pretty damn good rotation. It's a shame that the LR doesn't have shocking speed because, of course, he would be linking up much better with um, the legendary rare. Of course, he has over and flash, shocking speed, and fuse fighter, which is something that the LR doesn't have. Now, what do we want to do here? Of course, Super Saiyan 3 Goku can get the stun, but it's just the links. Links is the thing that is going to hurt him the most. And it doesn't seem likely that he is going to super attack here. So. Links are the biggest problem by far, which is one, uh, which is why I want to stick with some rotations. And of course, I get super attack straight away. Having an LR every single turn is definitely going to help me out the most, especially if I want to um, get super far without using any items. And so far, this isn't going too well. Um, I'm hoping that Goku can stun here. It's a small chance, but if he can buy me that little bit of time, I would appreciate it. And I would try to stall if he does stun. I don't think he did start. Oh, he did start. Okay, so I think it may be beneficial for me to stall here. Just so I, I can get a bit more health back. And he is stunned. Like, damn it, this is bad. He's stunned. So, he isn't going to get attacked. Which means that... Oh boy, this is like good and bad. I am going to get the majority of my health back. But it's like, this man hasn't been attacked yet. Which means that his attack stat is going to be pretty low. And his damage output isn't going to be too great. So I am going to have to, re um, going to, have to rely on Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku a bit more. Which I was about to say is a bit of a shame. But it's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. And he is going to get attacked twice here at the very least. So we're making progress. Which is what we want to do of course. And we healed up a ton this turn. We are almost to max health. Okay, so that's one attack. I'm hoping this doesn't take him out. And then get attacked again. And hopefully that isn't the super attack. Of course, every time he super attacks, he gets a defensive boost. And there it is. So he is taking less damage here. And I'm hoping that Merge and can take him out here. And if he doesn't, of course, the Transcendent Ultra Rare will. But I have confidence in Merge and There we go. So now, moving on to the next stage. Unfortunately, didn't get too many attacks in. Well, my Legendary Rare hasn't been attacked that many times. But this is a very good rotation, actually. Kind of. Um... You know what? It, it's fine. As long as Gogeta gets the counter in. That's a big if. I know it's a big if. 
if he gets the counter in, it's going to benefit us a lot. And uh, the thing is, the LR didn't super attack. To be fair, the defensive status is still pretty damn high. It's putting in work. So I'm really hoping that he super attacks Gogeta here. And I'm really hoping that Gogeta can counter attack this. Is he going to counter attack? Is he going to super attack us at all? Here we go. That's one attack. That's two. Okay, we didn't get super attack so far. But we are taking a ton of damage just by Gogeta getting that defensive boost. Okay. And I have a feeling we are not going to get super attack this turn. Never mind. Of course we get super attacked right at the end. I may have to use an item straight away. Of course we did heal up a okay amount, but... Yeah. I mean, how high is our defensive stat? I mean, but then you take a look at Merge and Marsu. I don't think it's going to be enough to survive, unfortunately. So, yeah, we're going to have to use our first item already. Maybe another time I will attempt to... Uh, See how far I can get without using any items. But unfortunately, it just didn't go too well for me. And this man didn't decide to super attack Gogeta. So, here we go. Big Bad Boss is, is active, of course. That is why his attack stat is so damn high. There we go. And I probably should have used a Dende or a Senzu Beam. I think we're going to be fine just because I did use the Yama. And is he going to take him out here? I think he has level, level 14 crits. I think that's the global version. Never mind. I think this one in particular... Doesn't even have level 5 crits, so... Okay, we've got a decent amount of health back there. I'm gonna put... Uh, that isn't a super attack. See, that's the problem. This man struggles to super attack because of the lack of key links. But, you know what? I'm gonna stick with this for now. And I think it would be beneficial to keep... I don't know. Because the healings... You know what? I'm gonna keep Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta together. And then in this rotation, or in one of the rotations, I'm going to have Merge and Marsu and the LR. I think that's probably the best thing to go with, just so that both the heroes and villains can super attack consistently. And now, of course, we are moving on to this event, where is where we are going to heal up the majority of our health back, just because type advantage for the most part. And first few stages are relatively easy. That's one. That's two. Is that the ultimate attack? That isn't even the ultimate attack. And let's go with this. Because I don't think that the um, LR can take him out here. Just because we, have, we haven't been attacked that many times. And that is definitely one of the problems with this card in particular. Don't get me wrong, I do love it. But the build-up is kind of unnecessary. I do like it because it makes things a bit more interesting. And, like, it's entertaining in a way because it's different. But at the same time, when you compare it to other legendary rares, it's just kind of unnecessary. If it was a different meta, it would definitely be a lot better because... In a pre like, I'm going to use this as, a, as a, an example. In a previous meta, we relied a lot on like healing, tanking, and stuff like that. So, in that particular meta, it definitely would have um, been a bit... It's not like it would have been a bit more beneficial, but it would have worked a bit better. It would, it would have seemed more necessary, pretty much. But in this current one, it's just so unnecessary because of how easy it is to deal with that amount of damage without any build-up or anything. And here we go. And unfortunately, he is not dead this turn, but it's fine. So next turn, we should have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Okay, never mind. Um, you know what? I'm going to stick with this. going to grab the... So he's dead either way. And we are going to get a Doken Mode next turn, unfortunately. Would have liked to get it against Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, rather, but it's not too bad. Here we go. I, to be honest, I value his damage output quite highly, which is why I'm keeping him around. And of course, he can counter super attack, so I'm going to keep him around for now. And I need to get Super Saiyan 3 Goku paired up with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So we're going to go over this. We are going to get the Doken mode here. Are we going to get a super attack with Goku? We aren't. So it's a shame that this man just doesn't share any links. Okay, get an attack twice. And getting super attacks, but we should take less damage from this because Big Bad Bosses is active. So 55k, still a reasonable amount of damage, but I'm hoping that this Doken mode can take him out. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we are going to get a decent amount of health back, so it's not too bad. Attack stat over 1 million. Big Bad Boss is active. And if the LR doesn't take him out, the Transcendent Ultra Rare will. And here we go. Oh, you did. Is the Transcended Ultra Red going to take him out? Yes. Okay. Didn't expect that, to be honest. I think he was going to survive. Well, I thought he was going to survive with a tiny 
a tiny amount of health, but it worked out in the end. And oh dear. It's just one of those turns. It's just one of those turns. You know what? It's fine. We are going to super attack with Gogeta. And the next turn, we are going to super attack with the others. It could be worse. It could definitely be worse. And of course, he super attacks this man. Damn it. How much is he going to take? Because he didn't super attack this turn. 52,000. Not too bad. And I would imagine that this is going to hit pretty damn hard. And of course, my super, uh, my super Saiyan for Gogeta is at super attack 10 now, which is nice. And Vegito doing what he can at the end there. Still taking a reasonable amount of damage, but we are going to heal up here. So that's double heal this turn. He's going to get attacked, um, attacked a bunch here. And then um, that is the ultimate attack as well. No, it's not the ultimate attack. Wait, am I missing something here? Prepared for battle. Yep, yeah, that is what I was missing. They have um, the Transcendent Doctor Red has pre uh, prepared for battle, which is why he had the ultimate attack and now he doesn't. But then again, I'd rather keep merging Marty around just for the additional damage. So I suppose it's not too bad. And here we go. Big bad boss is active yet again. I don't know if it's going to be enough to take him out, though. Yeah, it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. The close die, which is what matters. And we are going to heal up here again. And now, this is the rotation that I wanted. Thank you. At least we can consistently get counters in, um, counters in now, hopefully. And we aren't going to have healing every turn, but we do have um, the firepower, I suppose. And we do have the counters, potentially. So, I think it's worth... The sacrifice, maybe. Right, now moving on to the cooler stage. And first few stages were a bit slow. I'm going to try to pick up the pace a little here. And unfortunately, because this first stage does have multiple enemies, we are going to be a bit... Um, we're going to stay here a bit longer than I would have liked to. But it's not too bad. So that's one attack. going to aim for the physical one here. Um, aim for him. And then I'm just going to avoid super attacking with a G so because he isn't going to do anything. Right. Of course, I didn't attack. Um, what's his name? Salza or Fowler? I, I still don't know how to pronounce it because I do want to get attacked and get that attack boost. And we took no damage anyway, so it's fine. Can you imagine if Merging Marcy had some sort of healing ability? I think if it were, um, if he was released like during this period, he definitely would have had some sort of healing ability. For one, of course, he is like half immortal, and then. Um, it just would make sense, to be honest. It would go with the card, or his other card. Uh, okay. Potentially getting super attacks here, so might as well put him there. And then we've got a bit of healing back from the Transcendent Ultra Rare. So, things are going well. Things are going well so far. Almost 15 minutes into this, so let's see if we can beat it by like 20 minutes. I don't expect to set some time or anything. but And we are going to counter. There we go. So, I made a correct decision here. Even though that's probably what the majority of you guys would have done. But there we go. Just cutting seconds as much as we can. And now we have this turn. Which we may struggle with. Unless we get a crit here. So we're going to put all of the legendary rare attacks there. And I'm hoping that this can take him out at the very least. I'm an idiot. I aimed for... You know what? I think Merger Marcy is going to take him out anyway. But I, did, I didn't aim for cooler the second time round. We are going to get super attacks here, but we should take no damage. 7k, not too bad. Merger Masu is hopefully going to take him out. And then the LR will do what he can. Maybe get a crit, which is realistically what we need. And of course, he didn't take him out. Feels bad. And we would have like been attacked a few times there. In addition to what... And we get super attacks. Things are just going super well for me. At least we are getting an attack boost, so it's not too bad. And his that's a super attack. Mm, this sucks. No super attack for him. But to be fair, we are gonna. I was about to say we're gonna get mul um, attacks multiple times here, but that's not what you want because this isn't the LR. So maybe we do get super attacks and he gets a crit in return or a counter rather. But the likeliness of that happening is not as high as I would like it to be, and we didn't even get super attacked. So no crit so far. But maybe we have enough firepower in this particular rotation to take him out. So let's start things off with Merger Masu. We have the Legendary Rare with that 18 key super attack. And then we have the Transcendent Ultra Rare, Ultra Rare 
doing what he can in that last slot. And Big Bad Bosses is active, so we are getting that attack boost and defensive boost, of course. So we should take less damage from any super attacks and normal attacks, of course. Is this going to be a crit, though? Here we go. Oh, wow, okay. Didn't even need the crit. That was enough to take him out. Now, the agility stage, which is where we are going to have, like, legit no problems. And we are actually going to super attack with everyone in this rotation, I want to say. Um, let me rephrase that to almost everyone in this rotation. Of course he didn't. One key off. Always one key off. Can he get the counter? Are we even um, going to get super attacks? That is another question. We have Gogeta doing what he can, of course. How much? 600k. Close to 700. No super attack so far. Can Goku get the stun here? Not like we need it because we do have a type advantage. But... Attack? Okay, no super attacks. Fair enough. I was expecting to get super attack there, of course. Let's go with... I swear, some of these rotations are just so bad. Always one key off. That's the one thing that annoys me the most. Always that one key. Super attack now. Okay, no super attack. He doesn't want to super attack us. So we are going to take him out here. And then next turn, we have Super Saiyan for Gogeta. We have Super Saiyan for Goku. We should... Of course, now he gets the crit. And I believe we have a legendary rare as well. Okay, never mind. Let's go with this. I'm hoping that this is where he is going to super attack so I can get a counter win. We have enough attack or enough orbs for the LR next turn. So let's see how this goes. No super attack thus far. Are we going to get super attacks? Because he's taking a ton of damage from these normal attacks. Okay. No super attack yet. He can get stunned, so maybe Goku will get that stun and just make things easier for us. Two turns of free damage, of course. And... No stun. Okay. Any day now, super attack? Wow, we did not get super attack that rotation. Fair enough. And who has the higher defensive stat him? Mine or his? Um, is this... That is my one, correct? Yeah, that is my one. So my... My LR's defensive stat is super high at this point. And that is the ultimate attack. Okay, things are going well. This rotation. Is that another ultimate attack? I think? Yeah, we're free, few key off. But we are definitely going to take him out here. We get super attacks, which means that he is going to lower our defense slightly. But we should be fine. 81k. Yes, expected at this point. But look at that attack stat. 1.5 million. We're going to be pretty close to taking him out with this attack. 720k. It just shows you how high the defensive stats actually are. Oh. My attack stat is 1.5 million, but I'm going to do like half the damage. So it's not, again, it's, it does make events slightly harder. But at the same time, it just shows you how much of a difference defense does actually make. And other things dead this turn. Unless he gets the crit. Of course, I'm the tiniest amount of, and look how close we are to that Dogen mode. Which means that we aren't going to get it during the physical stage, which is where I would realistically like to get it. And um, it's very likely that we are going to get it during the first stage, which kind of sucks. And there we go. I low-key thought that wasn't going to take him out there for a moment. Here we go. Moving on to the Goku stage. And so far, this team has been pretty fun to use. You can tell that when you do use particular switch, um, rotations, it does work out pretty... It works better, basically. And as much as the healing is nice every single turn, it... Like, if you're running Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku, it's way more beneficial for you to run the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Gogeta in a separate rotation. And then just have another Legendary Rare coming up every um, three turns or so. But here we go, one, two. Well, technically it's two turns because you already have one. But it still works. And of course you have the Transcended Ultra Rare as well. And at the very least, this token mode is going to give us a decent amount of health bag. So it's not too bad. Granted, I've already kind of failed on this no item challenge, but... We're making progress. 1.3 million. I still don't know how much health you get back from the Doken mode. I think it's like 20% or something. But the point is, we've got all of our health back. We could put him in that last slot. That is a super attack. Um, is that rainbow all going to drop down the way? I want it to. Again, always that, that one key off. That is the most annoying thing. And I really need to give this guy a crit. Because he's still at 1%. In the potential system. 1% in the comment section down below. If you are familiar with that, of course. 
And then we have the Goku. I have never pulled a Goku. A Goku. Well, technically, yeah. I have never pulled a Goku dude, which is a shame. How much damage? We've got the crit. If I got the super attack with the LR, he would have been dead. And it's a crit as well. I have no words. I have absolutely no words. And I don't want to take him out here. Look how many times we're getting attacked there. It's going to be way more beneficial for me to just take the hits there. Just so we can speed this up a little during the later stages. And how many attacks is that? I think that's three. Okay, we get super attacks with the first one. We take more damage because we didn't super attack. But we take no damage from the normal attacks anyway. I think that definitely was worth it just because we are going to get... Um, what do you call it? We are going to get more attack, basically, because we got hit that many times. And now we have the physical stage, which is the stage that I despise the most. And hopefully, we can finally get another counter in. We have enough tech orbs on the left there. Or we did, I should say. But here we go. Counter, please. At least once. Okay, it's, it's already happened once. Twice? It's a super high chance, I think. I think it's definitely a high chance. I don't think it's super high. And he didn't even super attack us. I think it's going to super attack the Transcendent Ultra Rare. Just like Cooler did. I think, was it Cooler or is it, was it Vegeta? I think, no, it was Super Saiyan for Goku right at the start. Where he super attacked us in the last slot. Even though the majority of the um, attacks were at the start. But he did not super attack us there. Going to grab these. I don't know if this is going to be enough to take him out. But the um, other LR is being attacked a bunch at the end there. So let's see what happens. Big Bad Boss is active. But again, like you saw during the cooler stage, despite their attack stats being so damn high, they don't hit as hard as their attack stats, of course. And that comes down to their defense. We did just greatly lower there, so is that going to make a bit of a difference? I think it will. And he's going to take him out regardless. So, so much for those attacks at the end, right? And there we go, 430k. And now this is the stage where it's not too bad because he doesn't really super attack too frequently. But then again... His normal attacks do hit pretty damn hard. Hmm, how high is our defense here? Not that high at all. I've already used an item. Might as well go ahead and choose that. To be honest, it's not the end of the world. And I don't know if... Are we going to get super attacks here? And that is the question. Of course, he is going to get a defensive boost from this. Which is going to help out a bit. But we did use the Yamma, so it's not um, too crazy. But a super attack... Would allow him to counter. You can get the stun here, maybe. We've stunned one, so getting another stun in would be nice. Not like we really need it, but again, less damage in return. That's the countdown. Taking no damage. Of course, the boost from Vegito is helping as well. And next turn, we have a decent amount of healing. And Big Bad Boss is, is not active, but it's going to be active shortly. It's a shame that I can't get that tech key. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to. Not what I wanted to do by any means, but I mean, just look how many times he is getting attacked. So at least he is getting an attack boost. Am I going to die here? Am I legit going to die here? I mean, he is getting... Big Bad Bosses is active. Getting a defensive boost. Just don't super attack him, please. Am I seriously going to die? This is why you don't put the Transcendent Ultra Rare there. Oh my god. That was actually a terrible ending. And I was having so much fun with this particular team. What? I got absolutely bodied towards the end there. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. If you maybe want to see a race for this team or something in the future, let me know in the comment section down below as always. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.